Morgan. Oh, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personal. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but your own. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 162. You had the NASDAQ off 45, S&P's off 24. You know, not bad numbers, folks, uh, you know, in the context of uh, what we're talking about. The, it, those indices are only about, down about a half a percent. You had the Dow down six tenths, uh, S&P down six tenths, NASDAQ down five tenths. That being said, how however, with that when you do look at from the highs to the lows, now you get some action. Uh, S&P out here, the futures, the futures went from 29.61 to 29.24. So you can see from the highs to the lows, um, that's some uh, big action, no doubt about it. We're going to take a look at the uh, NDX 100. Same type of setup inside the NDX. NDX had a high out here today of a 78.51. You got a, a low out here of uh, 77.51, 100 points. Yeah, oh man, that's, that's a hit. That is intense. Okay, so let me pull this back again. Yeah, 100 points. And what you have now at this high, too, if you happen to be into candlestick charting, uh, that's quite a, that's a, that's a little bearish engulfing. What a bearish engulfing is is that you start at the high, you close at the low, you, you know, you're taking out about... In this particular case, we're all taken out to six or seven days of trading. Small caps. What do we do with the small caps? Small caps continue being weak. Small caps uh, down a buck fifty, trading one fifty six seventy six. The uh, XLE uh, also basically gave it up. Uh, XLE uh, down a dollar thirty two. You did twenty million shares. Yeah, you get ABC down. Oh man, watch this. They put some volume in this at the end. Let me see this volume. Yep, there it is. So you can see at the end of the day, that's going to be the 1,600 hours, which is the 4 o'clock. 1.7 million, 949,000, uh, another 60,000. Um, they did it. They, they, broke, uh, they broke that swing, and they you broke it with volume. Uh, so that's saying the XLE next stop down to a 63.30. And this is not a big ABC down. It was 68, 65, 3 bucks. That gives you uh, 63.85. That swing it's going after is 63.30. I expect we're going to get down there. Exxon Mobil, we take a look at Exxon. Exxon probably gave it up to, yeah, Exxon's one of the, that was, Exxon's probably the culprit. Down at buck 61. Chevron uh, didn't, didn't handle price too well uh, also. Chevron, anyway, popped yesterday, today down at 225. Gold contract, okay, so what do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract, Powell comes out, first move in gold goes topside, second move in gold goes downtown. Uh, what we have out here, you, are down, you closed, end up closing down 840. You've done 260,000 uh, contracts, and not a bad setup. Still hasn't broken any swing lows. You, you actually... You, it actually did push into the last swing high with volume, 268 versus 279. Notes and bonds, we get the 10-year note, 30-year bond, they both continue to want higher price. Pretty amazing. Uh, it's, well, it's not amazing in the context of uh, the, when Powell was speaking, folks, the bottom line is that the market in general does not expect we, out to January of 2020, no rate hikes. Um, and if we take a look at the uh, aspect of the rate cuts, uh, it does come in with a over a 50%, even with the context that uh, Powell is saying there's not good one way or the other. But what you have here is that you can see, if you happen to watch my screen, in December it goes over 55, well, it goes over 50%, it's 55% for rate cut. Uh, rate hikes, uh, <laughs> they're, just not, they're just not in there. Um, so, uh, what's, what's surprising is that the market itself uh, looks like, I guess, the market itself wants some uh, more rate cuts. If we go take a look at that, um, 
E-mini S&P before they closed at 415, you're going to see that it went right after the lows of yesterday, broke the lows of yesterday. This looks to me, now you're going to get a structure that you really can get some uh, action on the way down. Uh, don't, I wouldn't be too surprised if uh, this S&P gaps down to uh, about the 2,900 in the morning, which would be, that'd be about a gap. Well, there wouldn't be a gap in the S&P. It would end up happening, trading down to that level. If you, we wake up in the morning, we're down at that level. Because you're getting a lot of, well, let's put it this way. You had Apple come out with numbers that market light. Apple ended up closing up $9.85, was up as high as $12, right? It was saving the Dow Industrials and saving the S&P in general until the, the Fed announcement. That's how this thing shook out. Once that was done, guess what? There was just the market was saying, okay, I'm going to sell into this. Let's go take a look at uh, Square. Square closed at $73.62. That is trading right now at $69.28. Let's see what they have to say money wise. Their revenue, they expected, uh, the expectation was. 556 million. That's that's first quarter. One second. Okay, the earnings per share they expected eight cents. They made 11, so they made it there. Revenue they expected 479 million. They made 489. That's your first quarter. Second quarter, yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is going to be a second quarter going forward that they're missing their numbers. They made their numbers first quarter, which they're announcing. Second quarter. They're guiding down. Second quarter, the estimate had been $556 million on a revenue basis. Now they're saying $545 to $555. So the top end is still um, underneath their estimate. Their earnings had been $0.18. Cents. Now they're looking from $14 to $16. Um, their payment volume um, is expanding by 27%. So bottom line, that's, not, that's, not a, that's, that's, that's a decent expansion of volume. There's no doubt about that. Qualcomm. Let's go take a look at Qualcomm. Qualcomm come out with numbers. Qualcomm has been a rocket ship, by the way. Uh, Qualcomm closed at $86, trading $82.92. Uh, but this, this stock here went up $35, I think, in the last two weeks. Yeah, we're, we're up from like uh, $57 to $81, even backing down the $5 when they just came out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.